Hey, I'm James Strickland. I'm the pastor at Homeland Park Baptist Church, and this is my friend Teddy. Say hey, Teddy. Hey, everybody. Teddy is actually a teddy bear that I got my wife for Valentine's Day one year. She loves teddy bears, and I'm sure you're trying to find today the perfect gift. Maybe you've already found it, the perfect gift for your loved one. And uh, I know how that can be. You want to find just the right thing to say exactly what that person needs to hear about how much you love them. But I'm going to put Teddy down for a second and share with you a verse that's probably the greatest Valentine we've ever received. And it's one that you've probably heard before. But it's in the Gospel of John. And it's in John 3.16. And in the Gospel of John... It says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17 goes on to say that Jesus did not come to condemn the world but to save the world. Friend, I want you to understand that when Jesus came, he was God's one and only son. God gave his best. There is no other gift that he could have given us that had any greater value than the love and the of his son Jesus Christ so that we could have eternal life with God and in verse 17 as it says Jesus didn't didn't come for us to be condemned just to sit in the penalty of our sin he came to redeem us for that so that we don't have to be prisoner to the sins and the shortcomings that we have in our lives he came to set us free from that so we would not have to perish and then that can he, he didn't come to make us fear. He didn't God does not want us to fear him in the sense of running from him. He wants us to run to him. Uh, so much so in first John four, verse eighteen it says, There is no fear in love. Instead, perfect love drives out fear. And it says, We love because he first loved us. My friend, there is a lot of definitions of what love is and what love isn't in today's popular society. But what we see in God's word is that love is him sending his son, Christ, to die for our sins. You might be scared to take that next step. You might be fearful of if you do give your life to Christ, what he might require of you. But that is not perfect love. Perfect love is what God gave us, knowing that all of those fears that we have will be driven out if we accept him. So my prayer is for you today that you, uh, as you are telling loved ones how much you love them, and uh, are maybe looking for someone to tell you the same, know, my friend, that God loves you, and he has a plan for your life, not to see you squirm, not to see you struggle, but to see you delivered and to see you have a relationship with him. So as you continue this Sunday, if you have a place of worship, I encourage you to go. Support your pastor. Support your friends that are in the congregation. Maybe bring a friend to church and let them see the hope that God gives you. If you don't have a church, we'd love to see you at Home and Park Baptist Church in Anderson, South Carolina. So if you don't go for God and you don't go for yourself or a friend... Do it for Teddy.